To get started making our wet felted acorns, we're gonna go ahead and take um, the small pack, one of the packs of wool roving. Um, that is what they call this colorful bunch of material. Um, it is wool. And you're gonna take it apart. And it's pretty much one big long thread. Now this is gonna get us about four acorns that are this size. So you're gonna try to divide the wool kind of evenly. I'm gonna split it, split it in half and then split it in half again. And this will give us acorns that are about the same size. It's not gonna be perfect, but of course, acorns in nature are not. So we have, well, I'm gonna take a little bit more from here and give it to this one maybe. Um, so we have four semi-equal um, sized fell roving, or wool roving, excuse me. Um, so now we need to felt it. And to get started doing that, I'm gonna set these other ones to the side. So to get started um, making our felt ball, we're gonna take one of the pieces of roving and we need to pull it apart to make it a big fluffy ball. So we keep spreading it and spreading it. Um, we want it, we don't really wanna see any of these long strings together. You wanna just break it apart in as many pieces as you can. Just keep pulling it apart until we have a nice big fluff ball. Yeah, it's pretty big and fluffy. Um, and I'm gonna kind of take it and shape it into all a ball-ish form. Um, so it's something that's gonna fill your hands, although I have very small hands. <laughs> um, but it should it should be a pretty big ball that fills your hands. There we go. So for the actual felting process, you're gonna need a large bowl of cold water, a smaller bowl of hot water. Um, it shouldn't be so hot that you can't touch it because your hands are gonna be dipping into it, of course. Um, and you're gonna need a little bit of soap. I have some Dawn dish soap here. Um, you can use almost any soap for this. Um, I just default to Dawn because I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that wool roving ball that we made and we're gonna put just the smallest, teeny tiniest drop of our soap on it. And um, that's gonna help to kind of mush it all together. So we're gonna start with just a small drop and we're gonna um, get it soaked first in the hot water and we're gonna kind of use our hands to move it around. I'm not squeezing it, I'm just kind of um, moving it back and forth between my hands. And I dip it back in the hot water. That hot water um, is gonna really help us, or help the ball to shrink. And it's slowly moving that soap through the whole thing. Okay. We start with the hot first. And you can see already it's starting to form a ball and the soap is really starting to move through it and that helps to kind of um, keep the fibers moving and not bunch up into one spot. And now I'm gonna even dip it into the cold water a little bit. Now we can start moving our hands more in a circular motion, but then I definitely wanna dip it back into the hot water because that's what helps to make our felt, or our wool shrink and start turning into a felt ball. And I could probably even add just a teeny tiny more, just the smallest drop again of some soap. Add some more hot water and you want it to stay hot. If the water um, starts to cool off while you're doing this, um, you can just refill and get another bowl of hot. And so we're, this is gonna take a while. You wanna sit back um, maybe put on some good music or an audiobook or your favorite show on TV and um, each ball is going to take us quite a while to make. We go back and forth between hot and cold and it's the hot water that is really going to help this ball shrink down to the size that we want it. 
we're about halfway there now. Um, and it's okay. It has a lot of spaces and things in it, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna keep working it and it'll get there. And again, I'm not pushing hard on this. I'm just lightly rolling it kind of like a meatball maybe. <laughs> Letting the, the wool work for you. And you can feel it slowly getting smaller in your hands as you work it. And as it gets smaller, it'll get denser. We wanna to get to the point where it gets really dense. I should have noted that you wanna do this on, um, oh. and if you accidentally go back and forth too much, that's okay. Just make sure that the when you start rolling it, it's dipped in the hot water. Um, oh, I should have mentioned you want to make sure your surface is covered, that you're not working on, you know, an antique wooden table that's gonna get ruined by all of the water that we drip all over this table. We're just gonna keep working it until the ball gets small. This is really cathartic work. Each ball is probably gonna take you anywhere from five to 10 minutes to roll, um, depending on kind of the temperature of your water and just the wool roving itself. I've read that different colors may um, shrink at different rates. I don't know if that's true for this particular wool. Um, I have not tried all the colors. There we go, we're getting, we're getting down there. But in order to fit our acorn tops, we want it to be pretty small. So we're almost there, a little bit, a little bit more. If there are spots like this that have um, like a little divot, you can add a teeny bit more, just a tiny, tiny bit um, soap and kind of use it to work that um, crease out. looking much better. And now my ball peel feels pretty dense. I put a little more pressure on it. Rinse out that extra soap. Give it one more good warm water shrink. And squeeze it so that extra water comes out and we really get it into its shape. Um, so I have a pretty good ball, uh, but we want to put an acorn cap on it and that looks kind of silly, um, but we can just go back and forth. So it looks a little more oval shape. So then when we put our acorn cap on it, it's gonna look more like an acorn. <laughs> 